Hi guys! I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip I want to introduce a package for having infinite uh, scroll wheel in Unity. For example, uh, we have a list of uh, characters which can be, uh, for example, 100 items in our scroll wheel. But uh, rendering 100 UI elements in one scene is truly uh, heavy for any uh, platforms. But with this method, uh, we will have just 10 items, but uh, by scrolling the scroll view, we will just change the values of these parameters between these uh, 10 UI items. Okay, first, we should take a look at this package. Uh, Monfisius uh, released this package two years ago, which called Infinite Scroll Unity. We just need to download the zip file of this package and import the assets folder into your projects folder. After that, uh, we can come over here in the infinite scroll. We have the scenes. These are the several scenes, but uh, I want just uh, check the demo one. Look at this. Uh, let me do something like this. Okay, perfect. Look at this. All right. We have almost 100 items. But if you take a look at this part, screw view, content, we have just 10 items. But look at the numbers. This is the point. Okay. Now, let's see what's going on here. First, we have a script, which says for images for uh, demo one. It says, okay, how many items you want? It will say 100. Or, for example, 200. It's simple. Look at this. Now I play the scene, I go down, oh, sorry, <laughs> look at this, the previous time we didn't have these amount of items, now we have, it is brilliant, but uh, as you, uh, you remember, uh, the items were just a simple image when the text, but in here, the main core of this technique, screw view, we have infinite a scroll, uh, a scroll which was which is two types, vertical or horizontal. And in here, the, it is the item settings and the prefab of it. And now we can replace anything we want. At this point, we have just a list item and the text. So instead of these items, we can use even buttons, toggles, images, or anything we want. And also, at this part, we can change the padding uh, distances between our items from bottom, from top, or anything. And in here, these are the, um, you know, the labels, look at it here, pull to refresh, release to load, or anything we want. And direction, direction in here, we can change the offset or anything we want. Okay, now. Uh, I change the item spacing to, for example, 15. And now we will see. Excellent. We have this distance. I got this. And even we can change the horizon to, to this part. Oh, sorry. I need to change something here. I prefer to go to this part and for experience the horizon uh, horizontal let's see the demo 5. Look at this. The demo script is here the same but the scroll view this horizontal and the pool value is different 1.5 and the label offset is 85 and in here this is the same this is the same 
what's the, the, the direct difference? Now we can see, look at this. It is really good. Oh, the items are more than 10 items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, yeah, this is the difference. Okay. All right. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR, and XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye bye.